in her room at the prow of the house, <clears throat> where light breaks and the windows are tossed with linden, my daughter is writing a story. I pause in the stairwell, hearing from her shut door a commotion of typewriter keys like a chain hauled over a gunnel. Young as she is, the stuff of her life is a great cargo and some of it heavy. I wish her a lucky passage. But now it is she who pauses, as if to reject my thought and its easy figure. A stillness greatens in which the whole house seems to be thinking. And then she is at it again with a bunched clamor of strokes and again is silent. I remember the dazed starling which was trapped in that very room two years ago. How we stole in, lifted a sash and retreated not to affright it. And how for a helpless hour through the crack of the door we watched the sleek, wild, dark and iridescent creature batter against the brilliance, drop like a glove to the hard floor or the desktop and wait then humped and bloody for the wits to try it again. And how our spirits rose when suddenly sure it lifted off from a chair back, beating a smooth course for the right window and clearing the sill of the world. It is always a matter, my darling, of life or death, as I had forgotten. I wish what I wished you before, but harder. <clears throat>